So dark matter is basically the name we give to the material in the universe which makes up the bulk of the mass, but we don't actually detect it. And the reason we think this material exists is because of its gravitational interaction with the things that we do see. So the movements of galaxies and galaxy clusters are basically governed by the laws of gravity and the mass contained within them. So using what we know about gravity and the movements which we see in observations, we can basically predict their mass. Now the mass that we predict in this way is far larger than the mass of the constituent parts of the galaxy or galaxy cluster. Therefore we infer that there's a large amount of material that we don't actually see, and we call this dark matter. So here's an example of how we predict dark matter in an individual galaxy. Here we plot velocity against distance from the centre of the galaxy. Now using what we know about gravity and just the stars that we see, we would predict this blue curve here. However, what we observe is this green curve, a flat rotation curve. In order to um, compare these observations with our models of how gravity works, we have to include an extra component of dark matter. And this dark matter is supposed to be very important because we think it makes up about 83% of the total mass of the universe. And it therefore governs the growth of galaxies and galaxy clusters and the large-scale structure. However, we don't know much about what it actually is. We can rule out the fact that it's much like the things we see around us day to day, and we think that it's actually quite massive and only really interacts through gravity. However, without a direct detection, we can't say much else.